Amidst the speculation and the allegations, private plane bombed four Moscow crashes in Afghanistan. On the morning of January 21, 2024, a Dassault Falcon 10 private jet en route to Moscow crashed in the mountains of Afghanistan, igniting a flurry of speculation and allegations. The incident, shrouded in mystery, has become a focal point of geopolitical intrigue, with various media outlets and intelligence sources presenting conflicting narratives. Early reports indicated that the aircraft was registered to a Russian company, Athletic Group, and appeared to have connections to Gazprom, a Russian energy giant. The Taliban quickly dispatched a rescue team to the crash site, further fueling speculation about the plane's mission and the identities of its passengers. However, subsequent reports cast doubt on the initial claims, introducing new dimensions to the unfolding story. According to Twitter posts by various intelligence analysts, the chartered plane was shot down. By a faction of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, i.e., in the mountainous region of Topkana, near Karimanjan and the Zabak districts of Badakhshan province, these accounts allege that the plane was carrying crucial logistics for the anti-Taliban front, the National Resistance Front (NRF), and that six individuals were on board, including four. Crew members and two passengers identified as Indian intelligence officials from the research and analysis wing. Ra. Notably, one of the officials has been identified as Shukla, the Indian Ra station chief in Dushanbe, Tajikistan. The reports further suggest that the aircraft was owned by a private individual and that. The situation is evolving, with further details awaited. This revelation adds a layer of complexity to the incident, raising questions about the involvement of non-state actors and the potential motivations behind the attack. Meanwhile, the Russian aviation authorities have confirmed that there were six people. On board the ill-fated aircraft, while the Russian news agency TASS reported that the cause of the crash is still under investigation, the incident has drawn comparisons to the downing of a Malaysia Airlines flight over Eastern Ukraine in 2014, highlighting the dangers of flying in conflict zones. The recognition of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan by various countries remains a contentious issue, with some nations expressing concerns over the Taliban's human rights record and its ability to govern effectively. The crash of the private plane has further complicated the international community's stance on the Taliban regime. As it raises questions about the group's involvement in potential acts of aggression in a separate development, Israeli drone strikes in Lebanon reportedly targeted a Hezbollah chief, resulting in the death of a terrorist. This incident serves as a reminder of the ongoing tensions in the Middle East and the challenges faced by regional and global powers in combating terrorism. Amidst the conflicting reports and allegations surrounding the plane crash in Afghanistan, it is crucial to maintain a critical perspective and rely on credible sources of information. The incident has sparked a heated debate on social media platforms, with various factions attempting to shape the narrative and promote their own agendas. As the investigation into the crash continues. It is imperative to remain vigilant and seek out objective analysis to uncover the truth behind this tragic event. Only then can we hope to understand the broader implications of this incident and its impact on regional and global dynamics. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.